mal. that Cenarius be destroyed before we launch the invasion of Kalimdor. Hmm, I would relish the chance to face him again in combat. But he is crafty and rarely appears in the open. Fateful as it sounds, your pet orcs have recently despoiled these forest lands and incurred his wrath. Lord Archimonde and I believe that the orcs are capable of killing Cenarius for us. Mm, they would have little chance against Cenarius. If memory serves, his powers were quite formidable. Yes, but so are yours. The blood pact that you made with the orcs long ago still binds them to you. You need only recharge their energies. Hmm. Just what are you suggesting, Dreadlord? Spill your burning blood into this pool. Its corruption will lure the orcs to it. And once they've tasted your blood again, they will be unstoppable. Who dares defile this ancient land? Who dares the wrath of Cenarius and the Night Elves? The forest is coming alive! We're under attack! Let battle be joined! Cannot defeat me. I am the heart of the land. I'll town is even spawned, wretches. You will all die. I'll I defeated your kind in ages past, and I shall do so again. You cannot defeat me. I am the heart of the land. Demon spawned, wretches. You will all die. Cleanse these brutes from the wilds. I will watch over you from the forest. Hell scream! I sense a dark power emanating from the wilderness. It might be a key to destroying Cenarius. The pool emanates grave power, but I smell the stench of a demon curse about it. Uh. I am cursed already! If I must drink from these waters to defeat Cenarius, then I will. No! That goes against everything the War Chief teaches us! We can't let rage overcome us again! No, warrior. We must embrace it as 
as never before. We must become the vessels of destruction that we were meant to be. Yes! I feel the power once again. Come, my warriors. Drink from the dark waters, and you will be reborn. Chieftain, these creatures press us hard, and their demigod still lurks in the forest. How can we possibly defeat him? Weak-minded coward, nothing is invincible. If we are to live, then this Cenarius must die. Under the demons did their job well. You creatures are as reckless and bloodthirsty as they ever were. The orcs are free, Demigod! <laughs> Is that what you tell yourself? Despite what you may believe, you are no better than a malignant bile that flows through your veins. Damn you! You cannot defeat me! I am the heart of the land! Demon spawned wretches, you will all die! Demigod has fallen. The war song is supreme. Pardon, Priestess. But you've been staring out across Ashenvale for hours. I sense something dark stirring within the forest, Chandras. It feels as if it's heading this way. The Greenskins who killed Cenarius? Perhaps. Perhaps something more. Put your backs into it. Jaina and the Orc War Chief expect this base to be built swiftly. Ah, we shouldn't even be here. No siding with the Orcs. We're here to hunt the remaining demons, human. You're lucky our goals are the same. All right, you men. Mind your business. Back to work. So. These orcs and humans presume to run rampant through our lands? They will regret ever stepping foot into Ashenvale. We will establish a base and deal with these outlanders as they deserve. With Sonarius dead, it falls to us to awaken the druids. We must recover the demigod's horn from the sacred Moonglade Isle. Only its clarion call can awaken the druids from their slumber. But Priestess, the orcs have established a crude settlement upon the isle. We'll need to fight our way through them to reach Cenarius's horn. Priestess Taronda, thank Elune we found you. The undead are advancing upon the nearby Barrow Dens. The dens seem abandoned, but... There is one druid sleeping within them, sister. Furion Stormrage. He is the wisest and most powerful of all the druids. He must be warned that the Legion has returned. Then we'd better hurry. If the undead overtake his den before he's awakened... Let us make haste, my sisters. All our hopes rest on Furion's awakening. Priestess, the undead draw near the Barrow Den. Shando Stormrage will be defenseless. At last, the Horn of Cenarius. Now we can awaken Furion. The Horn has sounded, and I have come, as promised. I smell the stench of decay and corruption in our land. That angers me greatly. Come forth, you defenders of old. Crush these invaders as you did in ages past. It 
has been a thousand years since I last looked upon you, Tyrande. I thought of you every moment I roamed through the Emerald Dream. My heart rejoices to see you again, Furia. But I would not have awakened you unless the need was urgent. In the dream, I felt our land being corrupted, just as if it were my own body. You were right to awaken me. The Burning Legion has returned, Furian. Cenarius is dead, and Outlanders roam freely through our most sacred veils. As was foretold. No doubt Archimond will make his way to Hyjal Summit and attack the World Tree. If he succeeds in draining the tree's energies, this world will be doomed. My only thought was to awaken you and the rest of the druids. The druids of the Talon reside within the Barrow Dens at the end of this valley. If we can reach them, we may have a chance to stop Archimond and his demons. That did it, boys! We've driven them off! Let's regroup back at the base and tend to our wounded. So, the Outlanders battle against the undead as well. They could prove to be powerful allies against Archimond and his ilk. They are mongrels and nothing more. They are responsible for Cenarius's death. I will be damned before I stand with them. Perhaps you are right, my love. We will establish our new settlement here. Keep your sentries alert. I doubt that we have seen the last of the Outlanders or the undead. <laughs> 